allow us to, to use their facility. And, uh, you know, for all the fans that showed up, it was really awesome to see them. Uh, you know, I think it was good to get in front of the crowd. It was good for everybody, uh, coaches and players, just to get a taste of it. Because it is, it is different when you got a crowd out there. And uh, so, you know, everything went well on the injury front, obviously, other than... Put your hand down, hand down. And it uh, looked like he tweaked his hamstring a little bit. I don't know how, how severe, I don't think it's too severe, which is good. And I don't think we had anything else that had been an issue um, as far as injuries are concerned, which is nice. Uh, a lot of nice plays, you know, both sides of the ball. Um, got a few cheers for the offense, got a few cheers for the defense. So, you know, that was a good day. A lot of film to review and make decisions uh, as far as how much progress guys are making. You know how much progress we're making as a staff as well. So uh, a lot of things to uh, evaluate. It looked like you had a lot of diversity in this point. Yeah, we did. We did. I mean, we're we'll spread. We'll be in the eye. We'll we'll go too tight. We'll, we'll do a lot of everything. I do like a two bag run game. Um, I, I think that we'll get better at that as we go. It, it takes a little getting used to um, from a physical standpoint, but I think we need that. We need that as a team. Well, we ran the ball decent from the spread as well, or at least three, three wide receiver sets. Had a couple full receiver sets. Um, you know, threw some screens, play action passes. Didn't run a bootleg or a naked. I forgot to do that. <laughs> Disappointed in myself on that one. Uh, but other than that, we called just about everything. And we got the only thing we really didn't work on, which was pretty obvious, is our, uh, we worked on red zone offense, but we really had to put in our goal line defense, I mean, goal line offense, and uh, we just got so many shots down there. I was kind of liking it better, like back behind the 10, behind the 5, but we started getting first and goal inside the 5, and really wasn't prepared for that uh, with the goal line offense installation. So uh, we're, we're going to install that this week. We just hadn't got to it yet. Mark, no goal in the second half, but do you like how the defense responded after giving up those touchdowns early? Yeah, I think so. You know, got some good fourth down stops. Got one pick, at least one pick six. Maybe. Yeah. Was it two or one? One. One Robert pick Robert six. One in the end zone, too. Uh, yeah, and, got, and had another chance to, the uh, offense had another chance to score. They, they stopped a touchdown right there in the red area. Uh, you know, what, what we tell all the guys with this offensive defense is you got to play the next play, whether it's good or bad. Play the next play. You got to focus on it. There's only one thing you should be focusing on, and that's your job and your next assignment. And it, but it's hard, we're all human, you know? Things go good, we feel maybe too good. If things go bad, we, we tend to want to go in the tank a little bit. But uh, we got to learn to play every down like it's the most important down that, that there is. And we're, we're learning that, we're learning that. Yeah, there are a lot of sacks today for mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, there's a few. Um, a lot of times the pocket was real pretty and sometimes it wasn't so nice. Uh, part of that is Brad's got to get rid of the ball. And then some of that is just, um, you know, that pocket squeezing on him and him not wanting to throw the ball for grabs. I mean, the good thing was I don't think he threw any balls that should have got picked. He might have got, he might have tried to squeeze one in there. That was a little dangerous. But Brad's pretty good about not putting the ball in harm's way. Um, so, you know, and, and the other quarterbacks from time to time have you know, thrown it up for grabs and things of that nature. And, you know, Brad's had a couple images like that too, but it's been very few. So, you know, at that position, some of it is just, I mean, I tell you guys, you know, more games are lost than won. Uh, and so you gotta you got to protect the ball. you got to be respectful of the ball. All right, what do you think about it? What did you see in these fights? Wow, there's so many. We, we're rolling them. You know, there's four other guys we roll. Um, I, I think each guy had some bright moments. He probably had some things he'd like to have back, but it's too hard for me to so. say. Mark, what do you think about Mark Walton? It seemed like he was running with the ones all Yeah, day. he did a nice job. Mark has really proved that he can make something out of nothing. He's got good hands out of the backfield. Uh, he's got a toughness about him. I think he likes uh, big moments. I mean, not that this was a huge moment, but it was the biggest moment of the spring in regards to our practices and being in front of the crowd. I like the way he responded. Is he too early to say that he light. separated himself or no? Uh, it's too early. Okay. Touch on a little bit. What, what does being in front of a, a fairly nice crowd like this uh, do for the players, even though it's only spring practice? Uh, I, I think it means something to them. It really does. It, you just have your normal practice, and it, it just seems uh, very routine. 
and all of a sudden you get in the bus and you travel and you, you get into a, a stadium with some stand with stands and fans and and everybody's watching, you know. And we also know that you know that everybody's got their cameras out and who knows what's videoed and all that kind of thing. It'll be all over the internet right now. So they know it's very very public. It used to be just whoever showed up. Now it's really everybody in the world who wants to look at the what's going to be shot out on the internet. So you know it's it's different, but that's. You still got to learn to focus regardless of the circumstance. So I, I think it was healthy for us to do this. And uh, of course, next week uh, with the spring game, it'll be a little bit more like that. How do you think Stacy looked before the injury? And you, uh, you know, know Stacy's had a great spring so far. Uh, you know, I'm sad that he that happened to him because he's really played well. He's a guy that uh, has been a playmaker you know, for this team for a while, not just since I've been here. But, you know, he's. He's a very good football player. He's been very coachable and teachable. And I'm just, I'm sorry that that happened to him. Mark, with two practices left on the Saturday, well, is there anything specific you want to make sure these guys get down? Anything that's going to be focused? Well, offensively, we'll probably put one minute offense in, which we have not done. We've not put, we've not put a goal line offense in, which we may or may not do that. We probably will. Uh, as far as anything we might install, that's the last thing there. And then, the rest is just you know, keep running, keep keep taking care of business at school. You know, as soon as the spring game's over, they got one more week of school and then exams, and so there's a lot on the plate right now. I, I appreciate their effort. What do you like the most about where Brad is at right now? I know you probably talk about it a lot. With the uh, Brad is just um, he's very coachable, teachable. Uh, he's pretty unflappable guy. He, he doesn't seem to, the pressure doesn't seem to bother him when I'm talking about just. You know, whether it's in the pocket or whether it's just the pressure of his job and his role on this team. Uh, you know, very accurate passer. If we if we protect him, um, you know, he, he's going to hit his target. I'm, I'm really impressed with that. Coach, you talk about Yeah, he works. He works so hard. He plays so hard. I, I just appreciate his effort. And I, and I think it's becoming contagious. We had some. Phenomenal plays on defense. Uh, I showed the last team meeting three just tremendous hustle plays by guys. One was a screen that was about to be a first down in a third and eight period, and the, the thing might have scored a touchdown. The guy turned us ping. He he blitzed, and then he turned around and he he clipped the heels of the back before he made the first down, which might have made the difference between winning and losing. Then we threw another screen in another play like uh, a couple days later, and. Uh, Guys, I think it was Trent Harris. He was rushing the passer. He was on the blitz. He was probably 11 yards behind the line of scrimmage, and the screen broke out. And about 50 yards down the field, he made the tackle because he turned and he just started running. And when he started running, he was probably 15 yards behind him, where it's like there's no chance. But because his teammates cut him off and made him made him cut back, when he cut back, there he was. But if, if he won there, he was, was going to the house, you know. And, uh, and then another time there was a, a rush, I think it was Gerald, his big G, uh, Willis, and he, uh, he's rushing the passer and not getting much success going one way instead of kind of stopping him. He decided to spin back inside and bat it down a ball that would have been an easy little pass to the back and probably would have gone 15 yards, you know. So just, just keep playing hard, just keep playing hard. And Juan has been doing that from the beginning. I know the guys are catching up. Mark, what's All right, your last question, guys.